sorry, I was drooling. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cry. Like, I Seriously, I'm tearing up. Hey travel lovers, welcome to A Wanderlust for Life. I'm Jessica and this is the channel that shows you European gems through food and memorable experiences. That's why we brought you to the southern part of Denmark here on the Wadden Sea. And the sea is actually going from Denmark down past Germany into the Netherlands actually. But this is a foodie adventure that we are starting here in Espria and I can't wait to show you around. So let's get into it. Oh, and I'm probably gonna pronounce everything wrong because it's Danish and I'm not so good with that, so please forgive me. But now let's go. Our first stop here in Espia is the street food old theater building that we have here. This is so cool. So it is a food hall. There's, I think, seven different places. You get everything from pizza to Indian food to Moroccan food, burgers, pitas, Mexican. I, there's just so many options, plus a bar, of course. And this is just your reminder to make sure that you always try to find something local. So we have found a Danish cider, and we're gonna dig in with all of our goodies. Cheers! I'm gonna taste test a couple of these for you, but we're really just gonna dig in, because we're hungry. So this is a birria. You're supposed to dip it in the sauce. Oh my God, guys. I made a mess. So much flavor. I just, oh my God. I've never had anything like that, like the fried tortilla around um, the beef. So, so good. All right, I'm gonna try one of the tacos. What should I put on it? A little lime. Put a little lime on the taco. Look at that goodness. I was really hesitant. I don't know if you know this, but in Virginia where I'm from, we have some really great authentic Mexican food. And I love this. This is this is on point. I am still in awe of street food because the vibe is top notch. Like I would spend absolutely every day there if I could. The food was amazing. But then we explored more afterwards and they have an outdoor terrace that's massive. But also, and here's my tip for you, find the beer garden. It is super cool and awesome. Oh, and we found a bar downstairs as well. Just so many cool spots in there. But as you may have noticed, <laughs> we are back in our home for the night. Actually, Sweet Home is the name of this B&B in the center of town, and it is super cute. So it was built in the early 1900s and they've turned it into a B&B, and the owner is so sweet. So I highly recommend visiting here. The room is filled with lights, and the bed is super comfy with the memory foam topper, and you have everything you need. Massive TV, desk, mirror. The only thing to note is that it is a shared bathroom. So as long as you're cool with that, it's all good, but it's right across the hall from us. All right, well, we're gonna rest up for a bit before our next adventure. You're gonna love this one. I told you guys are gonna like this one. So we are here at Spiritus Kuban, and that's a very poor <laughs> pronunciation, but it means like the liquor club or the spirits club. So you know we're here. Um, this guy, Dennis, is amazing because he has this shop and it's full of liquors and spirits that, um, I mean, you've heard of, like you know gin, but you don't know the brands or you wanna find a local thing or you're looking for something specific and he is all about it. He'll tell you what it pairs with and he'll, he'll set you up basically. Basically. But every once in a while he does tastings and that is what we are doing. So he made us this drink. He was invited to um, the art museum and he interpreted a piece of art. So this is the Midsummer, and it already smells amazing. It's very fresh and lemony. By the way, the weather has been amazing. So lemon, warm weather. Whoa, okay. super lemony, but not in a tart way, but it's not too sweet. Is this egg, egg white on top, or you think? It might be egg white on top, but it's super smooth, but I expected it to kind of punch me in the face. We weren't really planning to buy a bunch of gin here like we do every other place, but I think we might have to rethink that because he has a whole wall of it. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, we got our second drink. Oh, by the way, this place is hopping. I was inside just talking to everybody. Such a cool local spot. Whoa. Oh my God. I think I'm gonna cry. Like, <laughs> seriously, I'm tearing up. Okay, it's like a chocolate covered cherry. That's what it tastes like. That is crazy. If there's rum or tequila in that, I'm gonna be shocked. I think it's probably, if I had to guess, vodka or Bailey's or something like that. We're gonna find out and then I'll let you know if I was right or not. But this is emotional, is, is what this is. 
we are here at Loft Tet and it is right on the square. And like first impressions. Oh my gosh, the vibe here we've already commented on. So you actually, when you walk in the front door, it used to be an old post office, first of all, which is super cool. But you walk in, there's like a sports bar on the ground level, but you go up the stairs and then up the stairs one more time and you get to this beautiful dining room. It's very moody. It's, the tables are spaced out very nicely and the staff is amazing. Um, so we are just kind of having a multi-course wine pairing with some incredible food. We've already had bread with the butter with smoked fry cheese in the butter. Generally speaking, the food here is just so um, delicately put together. Flavors are very thoughtful. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the wonderful food and then afterwards I'll let you know how it all went and what our favorite dish was. So enjoy. We are at our one of our first courses, which is a ceviche um, from Cod. Mm. That is so good. Like, there's so many flavors going on. They all work perfectly. I'm gonna try the wine that was paired with it. Oh, perfection. So the thing about wine that I love is if you pair it with the right food, it elevates both the wine and the food. We're off to a great start with this trip to Denmark. Let's talk about last night. That dinner was one of the best dinners we've ever had. And there was a wine paired with each course. And that may have something to do with the fact that I forgot to tell you about how it all went <laughs> afterwards. So I was thinking about like what our favorite dish was. So it was multiple courses. And I think that the um, cod ceviche was probably my favorite just because it changed the way you ate cod because I normally eat it, you know, baked flaky fish and everything and it was sliced so thin. It was, flavors were so good. Um, and all the pairings were phenomenal with wine. But then afterwards we went to the SBF brewery. If you're in town, it's definitely worth a visit because the vibe was so cool. If you like beers or if you like coffee cocktails or a G&T, which is what I had. You're golden. So we are now on Fanu, and we've taken the ferry over and we have some exciting things to get into today. So let's just dive right in. It's time for lunch. So we've come to Fanu Kroko. I'm gonna say that wrong, obviously. I will put it on the screen and obviously I'll leave a link in the description for you. Everything here is like super local and they brought us a couple different dishes and were able to tell us like kind of where everything came from and who smoked the salmon and where this came from. And oh, it's just so cool. It's kind of like in an old house too, but they also have a hotel. So it smells amazing. Let's dig in. I should probably tell you what we're eating. So we have romaine lettuce with some anchovies, um, some dill, and uh, I think apple cider vinegar, vinaigrette, and smoked salmon that was smoked like right up the road, and burrata with rehydrated beets and a couple other goodies, including olive oil, and the tartare, which may not be for everybody, but I'm really excited to try it. I kind of like tartare generally, um, and it smells good, so always try everything once, right? On to the main course, we have two dishes, but I'm gonna highlight the fish one because it is super local. Um, the fish comes from the sea, they salt it and then they hang it up to dry and cure, I guess it would be the right word. Um, but it does have bones in it, so you have to be careful. So I'm gonna see if I can do this right. Okay, so I think you're supposed to do this. And then... I think I did it right. Yeah, and all the bones are still in here. Winning. <laughs> the reason you eat at this restaurant is to get a taste of history and the local island for sure. Okay, now you might be wondering why I'm wearing this. No, I'm not going on a hike. I am getting on a little go-kart that is blown around by wind and gonna run around the beach. Check it out. 
Okay, yeah, that was just a teaser. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss that video. We're gonna do some super unique things here in the area and you don't wanna miss it. And I want your opinion. Do you like this very food centric video? Are you all for it? Let me know down in the comments below. But for now, we are heading off to a super cute little town. Let's go. We have brought you to the southern tip of Fanu here in Sunderho. Did I say that right? I'm not sure. So we are actually staying in the northern part um, in the town of Nordby and I'll give you a room tour at the end of the video because it's super cute and very central. So you might like that. But here in the south, it's a totally different vibe. It's very quiet, almost a little sleepy, but super cute. So we have all of these traditional houses here and the small roads and people in the evening now are just starting to, you know, hold hands and walk down the street. It's so cute. But you also have all this nature. So I haven't really explained why why we're doing like the Wadden Sea area. So the Wadden Sea is um, part of Denmark, Germany, and the Netherlands. So it's all connected. And there's lots of reasons why you might enjoy this area here in Denmark. Wildlife being one of them. If you're a bird watcher, this place is for you, absolutely. But also if you're a foodie like us or like light adventure, um, like the really cool thing that we just did and the cool things that you're gonna see in the next video. But there are just so many reasons, but mostly it just feels good. If you just want a place where you can think and it's beautiful and people are kind and the food is good, this is a great place to come. And it's super accessible, but I do recommend renting a car. But for now, we are gonna get ready for dinner. So we'll see you there. Hi again. <laughs> so we are here at Keller's Bait Hotel and this place is super charming. So they specialize in Danish and French cuisine. So kind of a mix of those, but using local ingredients. So I'm gonna show you sourdough bread. Who doesn't love sourdough bread? Come on. And butter made from a dairy just right back on the mainland. So super local and it smells amazing in here. But what I really like is the vibe. We've said that a lot and I want to reiterate everywhere that we've been, we love the food and the vibe is totally different everywhere, but all amazing in their own way. Here, it feels like you're just at a nice dinner at your friend's house or your family's house, like super comfortable, not pompous, but still like it feels special, you know? But they also have hotel rooms here too. So if you're ever on Fanu, this is an option for you. But we are gonna have a couple different courses paired with wine. I expect it to be absolutely amazing and we'll show you the dishes and maybe do a little taste test for you. first course after the Amish Bush, is that how you say that? Um, <laughs> it's smoked haddock, and like I said, they use local ingredients, so I'm very excited about this. I think there's apple and potato chips on top. Okay, there you go, perfect bite. Ooh. That's cool. That's so much about a texture thing, too, because the apple has a crunch, but it's soft, and obviously the fish is soft, and the potato chip is crispy, and I love dill. If you know anything about Scandinavia, dill is everywhere. And this is so good. One of the reasons I like nicer restaurants is because they know how to combine flavors and textures in a way that you've never had before. And this is one of them. Breakfast. I thought it'd be time for a room tour, but I want to tell you about breakfast first because it was a beautiful spread. The owner is the sweetest and just knows how to put together a good presentation of delicious food, including a lot of local goodies and the salt is from the island. I love it. Just the foodie adventures are just kind of dripping itself all over the place in our lives and I love that. But it's time for a room tour so you can have a place to stay when you're here in Fanu and I would actually recommend staying probably about two nights to really get a good feel of the island. All right, so we are here in Haven Fanu and there are three rooms on top of like the shop cafe that's downstairs. So it feels very traditional old timey because 
aren't those the first hotels like on top of restaurants and shops? So we have three rooms up here with a shared bathroom and our room is beautifully big. So we have this, I think it's like a king size bed and you have three windows looking out of just life on the street, which I think is absolutely fun and amazing. And over here, we have a single bed that is nice and firm, and I prefer using it more of a reading nook. There's an outlet right next to it so you can play on your phone, work on your laptop, or sleep <laughs> if you want to have separate beds or if you have three people. We also have a big mirror over here and a cozy chair with a side table if you prefer sitting and reading. But this place just feels so cozy and comfortable. You know what I mean? And I think we are going to leave you here. If you enjoyed this kind of food centric video so you know where to eat, some of the best places to eat different kinds of food here um, in Espia and Fanu here in the southern part of Denmark, let me know down in the comments because I'm really curious. We're always trying to find um, the best kind of videos to make for you guys. So if you like the video, give it a like and a comment down below because obviously love to hear your point of view and subscribe if you aren't already. And we'll see you in the next video when we continue our adventures here in Southern Denmark. Bye guys.